Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of The Daily Dish. My name is Valerie Ike and on today's episode, we're hanging out with costume designer and stylist, Eric Ihaza. How are you doing, Eric? I'm very well, thank you. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Thank you so much for joining us on the show today. How are you feeling? I feel great. I feel yeah? great. You yeah. feel good. Okay, so can you tell us a little bit about yourself, like how you started being a stylist and your journey so far? Mm, how I started, uh, I would say, professionally, I started 2019 okay. um, as an intern for um, Smart Model Woman, season okay. one. And on that show, I rose to become the fashion assistant. Okay. And from there, from there. But before then, professionally, I've been styling people in university. I've okay. been involved with pageantry, sales of nice. outfits, and loads and loads of so it's safe to say that this fashion stuff is in your jeans. It's in your blood. <laughs> okay, fair enough. So, first of all, big congratulations on working as the stylist and the costume designer for Gangs of Lagos Thank and you Honey much. Money. Thank you very much. How was that? Gangs of Lagos is an incredible film. I feel like <laughs> you could you could see that, like you could see that there was a lot of it was like a it was a passion project. Like yeah. everybody put their best foot forward. Yes. So tell us what it was like for you. Okay, so um, for me, it was very intense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I would say before I started off um, as a costume designer or stylist, I told myself, Eric, you have to have a thick skin. Mm -hmm. And how I grew up, I appreciate the fact I was being raised. My mm -hmm. parents, I know what you have to like really struggle and you have to like feel the pain as a Nigerian somebody now, you understand? Yeah, so, I get that. And, and when the whole Gang of Lagos came around and it was back to back, which we were shooting like, Lagos Island, mm -hmm. all those, and like, it was really, it was hectic. really, yeah, it was really stressful. I was mm -hmm. like back to back with shots, mm -hmm. like overnight, and we still had to like keep shooting and shooting, and mm -hmm. lots of extras on set yeah. and resetting blood because of the fighting, resetting blood, making yeah. sure the outfit are. It was a lot, honestly. It was a lot. Yes. Yeah, so, it was a lot. What, would you say that like that is one of the most challenging projects you've ever worked on, so far? Like I said, this skin, I won't say it's the challenge, most challenging because I would say, I would say make reference to my first gig, Smart Model Woman, because okay. I never had idea about, I never, okay. I never had, so okay. it was really challenging. Fair and, enough. Yeah. But this one was, it was hectic, but it was all right. No. It was all right. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. So now that you have two block, two blockbuster movies under your belt, yeah. how are you feeling? <laughs> I need more. <laughs> fair enough. So let's talk about how you like, so when you get a brief and like, you also know what what actor is playing the role. How, how do you like what make, does the actor does the actor contribute to what you put them in, or you just pretty much focus on the role that they're playing and then just do that? Um, actors no, okay. but sometimes Nigerian actors they want to like this is my style. Let's keep mm. it this way, but no, it's mm. actually wrong. Mm -hmm. It boils down to the director and the costume designer. Of course, yeah. okay. so that's it okay okay so we're going to go on a very short break and then when i come back we're going to talk more about designing and everything else stay tuned welcome back to the show for those of you just joining us we're hanging out with stylist and costume designer eric for those of you at home that cannot be watching don't forget you can always join the conversation on our social media platform which is spice tv underscore africa now eric i need to know what is the worst wardrobe malfunction you've ever experienced when styling? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to name names. You don't have to tell us what's said. But tell us one malfunction that you're like, ah, tell us about that. Um, okay, so I'll go back to my roots, smart money. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we have like five girls. And, mm -hmm. you know, Eric, this is not fitting. And I had to go. I didn't hear properly what they were telling me. And I just had to run into sets and... Um, I was trying to tack and the act almost slapped me. I was, like, <laughs> I was like, I was like, but she actually apologized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. there are lots of malfunction that happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but just for you to be able to like, mm -hmm. yeah. Just have to manage it. Yeah, manage it, manage, manage it, manage it. Well. it manage okay, it. fair enough. So can you tell us the top five looks for you? Not even necessarily on a movie set. So like people that you've styled individually. And to be honest, if you have pictures, like we can see them as well. But tell us like the looks that when you style this person, you're like, ah, I saw you this <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I'm, 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 let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I love Kayla on style. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She's one of my favorite. Like I love K Kayla style. Mm -hmm. So when I style, like, mm, yes, because, um, yeah. Sophia Momodu too. Okay. You know those like Eric. No, yeah, yeah. Sophia Momodu. Mm -hmm. Um, what other person? Let me see. Let me go down. Mm. 
It's like, like me, you like prefer, do you prefer styling women to men? Okay, so the thing is because of how I started styling, smart okay. model, so I had lots of ladies, you understand? Yes, but okay, I just I work that. on a project. I, I get did that, more I get of that, male I get styling. That, so. I get that. I get that. Okay, fair yeah. enough. Okay, so you say the top two people that you love to style are Kayla and Sophia. Yeah, I do. Like, like they, so they actually, they actually, like when they wear clothes, you know. Mm. Okay, okay. <laughs> all right, fair enough. So before I let you go, I want to know: Is there any films that you're working on that the viewers at home should look out for? That Eric, Eric did this. You don't tell us. I'm, 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 I'll, 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 <laughs> I'll have to say this for that again. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So um, I worked on an uh, amazing project. Uh, mm-hmm. Three cold sheets. It okay. took it took me like different countries: West Africa, VR Road. It has to do with um, drug yes. trafficking, child trafficking. We had Osasi Godaro, Omwale um, Oju, and some other um, mm-hmm. big um, African West African cont- um, actors. Artists, yeah. Like it was stressful. It was stretchful. A lot of things happened, but you know we had to like mm, like. I really, I, I can't wait for that movie to come out. Okay, so we're looking, what's it called? Let's look for it. Three Cold Dishes. Cold. cold like cold. Cold, Ototsu, like yeah. Ototsu. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I like, I'm evil, but I literally said mm, Ototsu. Nice. So it's like, okay, I get that. So it's Three Cold, cold Dishes. dishes. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to that, especially with the actors that you've named. That sounds like it's going to be very interesting. Yeah. So if you have any advice for someone that is trying to enter into the styling space in like the movie or entertainment industry, like two things that you tell them to do, what would you say? Mm, I would always say soft skin Mm -hmm. and uh, persevere. Okay. Be consistent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not easy. It's not easy. It's not, hmm, it's not easy. I can only imagine. I feel like the entertainment industry, because it's make believe, right? A lot of people think that it's just all fun and games and yeah. like you don't necessarily have to put your back into it. But I think um every single element of production, like the styling, the um music, the audio, the yeah. camera, everything, everything, everything ties into it to make it like yeah. a huge production. So yeah, perseverance is definitely good yeah. advice. All right, Eric. Uh, of course, you have to let viewers at home know where they can yeah. find you on social media in case somebody is aspiring and wants to reach out to you. <laughs> Okay, so on Instagram, it's Eric underscore Ihaza. Okay, yeah. all right. That's just Instagram, not TikTok. Uh, <laughs> sorry for another day. <laughs> to be honest, I feel like initially I thought I was too old for TikTok, but I'm kind of on TikTok now. <laughs> I'm, I'm on TikTok, though, but, TikTok, but not, I'm not really active. Yeah. All right, fair enough. So thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Thank you, Valerie. It's been fun. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing more work that you do. I feel like now... Because people, everybody thinks they're a movie critic. There's a lot of critiquing of looks and outfits. Hmm. So I am very excited to see what you do. I don't. I don't think yeah. I have any complaints about Gang of Lagos because me too. I can wear my critic hat and be like, mm, I mm, like. But yeah. I, to be honest, I think you did an amazing job. Thank you very so much. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing Three Cold Dishes, and I wish you all the success you can imagine in the world. Thank you very much. Thank you very <laughs> Thank much. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Thank you, Valerie. For those of you at home, don't forget you can. Always join the conversation by visiting our Instagram handle, which is Spice TV underscore Africa. Until next time, my name is Valerie Ike, and I'll see you soon. Bye.